Hello, uh, my name is Clara Felta and I'm an Associated Professor here at Mechanical Engineering DTU. I want to talk to you today about uh, how my teaching and development project has helped me increase the student learning in one of my courses. So um, the example I'm going to bring up today is a course in experimental fluid mechanics. It's a three weeks intensive course given in January and it's very popular because we're coupling theory together with practice and this is something the students love because you don't only hang over the books, you also get to do some practical actual exercises. So um, we uh, still have some challenges in this course, of course. Uh, one is that we're introducing some very uh, abstract theoretical concepts. And the classical uh, area which is problematic is the one of signal processing. And this is a field that most mechanical engineering students don't come across very often. Um, in uh, their basic training. So to many students this can appear a little bit scary before they know how to actually implement it. So I want to make this coupling stronger to make the students actually apply the theory to understand it better and use it in a better way. So um, during my final project at the pedagogical course here at uh, DTU, I stumble across uh, this concept of uh, inductive learning. And uh, you can use it in the frame of, for example, Kolb's learning cycle. So the traditional lecture uh, would be actually only this part here, where we do abstract conceptualization. So this is where you present the theory to the students. But the difference here would be that we're introducing um, practical exercises in conjunction with these lectures. So the students get to do some active experimentation so they get to actually hands-on feeling with whatever problem they're working with. From this, they're gaining concrete experience. And uh, from this experience, they can also do reflective observation, which couples back again to the theory that they just learned. And uh, once the circle is closed, they can just keep iterating through the circle until they understand it better and better. Um, so. The practical exercises that we introduced in this course were, um, for example, uh, giving them the chance to design an experiment before they even got into the lab. So we gave them a fictitious experiment and they also got to design one of the actual experiments that they were going to uh, perform in the lab later. We also gave them some data, some real measurement data that the students were able to play with and test different concepts on before um, actually working with their own data. Um, and, yeah, of course you should never underestimate just giving examples during lectures that the students um, can use while discussing. They can go through all these steps and increase their learning only during uh, the lecture. So, by applying um, this strategy, we saw that the students increased their uh, activity considerably. So they got a lot more interested and really wanted to try things out themselves. Um, so not only the activity was increased, but we also saw from the questions we got from the students that they had an increased level of understanding. Um, so not only did they learn more, they also understood it better. So when giving them the exercises for today, I realized that the students had even finished the exercises for tomorrow before I had even introduced them to them and they still kept asking for more, so this was very successful. They were very hungry for practical exercises, actually. And the increased learning was also measured in a course experience questionnaire and in own tests that we um, designed ourselves. So um, this material, or the um, development project that I uh, conducted, has also been presented at an international conference, and we're planning a journal paper on this as well. Um, and as the next step, I want to implement this inductive learning concept into one of my theoretical courses as well, because it's not only limited to practical courses. Um, and together with case-based learning and support of some e-learning tools, um, I think we can uh, get a very nice effect similar to the one in the experimental course. So I hope this example has helped to inspire you and can help you develop and improve your teaching as well.